Dan here with Sprite. I hope you're having a great day. Beautiful summer day to be talking about fava beans. This is one of the seven seeds. They use this a lot in Israel, the Mediterranean area, in their cuisine and replacement of chickpeas, actually. It uh, apparently has more protein in it than garbanzo beans, and it's just as versatile. Um, most importantly, it makes perhaps the most robust microgreen I think I've ever seen. If you look at this, this thing is a beast. Look at the yield. So, if you consider the, like, on a per seed sown perspective, each one of these probably 3x's its its size in terms of just pure weight, pure volume. And look at that. I don't know if I've, sorry for the background noise. It's a cross between sunflower and pea. Pea greens and sunflower shoots. It's like a hybrid of both, but the size of these is really the differentiator. I mean, crazy. Just no tendrils. It's pure, it's like pure leaf. I've, I was super excited about these when I saw people growing them. And then when I grew them for myself, it was like I had to see it from my own eyes. And um, it's just super rewarding to grow these. So we planted these July 17th. It's the 28th now. So, you know, under two weeks, they, they yield you, you know, so that's, that's, that meets the requirements, that meets the conditions of a seven, you know, being a seven seed. Super easy to grow, super food, culinarily useful, culinarily versatile, and quick to grow. Generally low maintenance. I, um, these were actually in really bad shape yesterday, and I gave them a nice water, and uh, they recovered, like, easy. These, um, these I took a little better care of. These just got overwatered. Um, they got underwatered, sorry, and they were left outside, wilted, but watered them overnight and they recovered. But anyways, um, I get my seeds from Mum's supplier. They'll be in the show notes. Really good seed supplier in Canada. Super cheap. They don't, you know, their prices are blow pretty much every other seed vendor out of the water. Buy them in bulk, of course. This is two pounds. Um, I think I sowed about like, I think it was like 60 grams. And this probably yields a five by five tray. I think this will yield maybe 200 grams. So three X is its value, pretty much. A uh, good book to read up on seeds is this, Thor Hansen, conservational uh, biologist, really smart guy, Love seeds, of course. Um, this channel is all about the seven seeds, highlighting them, teaching how to sprout, grow them, use them in recipes. Um, and it's also a fit food channel. I'm an athlete I'm an, and I'm a chef. And I sort of merge my enthusiasm for both of those schools of thought and domains into um, my love for food and this channel. So Instagram, website, everything will be in the show notes that I didn't cover in this video. Everything will be on the blog and all that, but let's harvest some of this. And I'll, I'll give you like a little flavor profile. New harvest, just a lot of people use scissors. I, since I'm a chef, I use my chef knives. And that's just a really nice looking green. They taste a little spicier, a little like more earthy, I suppose, than pea greens and sunflower greens. They have more going on. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw these in a salad or an omelet, eat them raw, um, sort of celebrate the ridiculous yield that we see here. Anyways, peace out YouTube.